Russia. This is how we roll. This is, this is 97.9, the BOX. Hi, what's up? Hi, how you doing? How are you? Do you remember meeting me like three years ago? <laughs> I actually don't. What, what do we mean? I'm going to give it to you straight. So we were at White Oak Music Hall, and it was after B.B. Borelli's concert. And I don't know what we was doing, but I remember meeting you. And oh, I was my coworker yeah. Amanda, too. Yes, I remember you. Okay, I'll just keep calling. Yes, what's up? It's good to see you again. How are you? How you been? I'm good. Um, you know. <laughs> You're cooling. I see you cooling. <laughs> Okay. Well, um, yeah, I had took a little nap like 20 minutes ago, but I'm still. <laughs> you good, you good. We just want to get everybody to get a chance to know you, man, because you're from New Orleans, too. I'm from the 504, so we got to represent. So what I've been doing, um, what you say? I said that's what's up. Yes, yes. What's your, what's your favorite part about New Orleans? Because I always tell people, like, you can't go during Mardi Gras because you can't really get the fact because there's too much going on. Yeah. So what would you say, you know, is the best thing somebody who never been there should do? The best thing. I would say you gotta you gotta really get you like some good crawfish and like just go in the park. Go in the park with your friends. Get Where's your, your go to spot for the crawfish? Um, well I used to uh I used to eat crawfish by the lake in um uh in Kinder. In Canada, okay. Did you live in Houston ever? Or were you just here randomly that night when we met? No, nah, my uh, my auntie lived in Houston. She moved there after Katrina. So. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. So where you at now? How's your quarantine been going? What you been up to? I'm in LA right now. Okay. It's been cool, though. As as cool as quarantine can be, I guess. <laughs> I know. But you've been working. I saw you wrote on Chloe and Hallie's new album that came out. Congratulations. Thank you. You co-wrote on Forgive Me, right? Yeah. With, um, One of the hardest songs on the album, for sure. And uh, then I also saw you co-wrote on... You co-wrote Water for Kehlani, right? Yeah. And you and Kehlani been rocking for a minute, man. How did y'all meet? Because I know y'all been having music together, and i always been seeing y'all together. Um. So I met Kehlani on Twitter. It's a funny story. I actually met her. And go ahead. <laughs> and she was like, "Yo, this is actually fire." And then um, from there, we kept, we like linked up, and kept linking up, and we ended up just becoming friends. Wow, that's a vibe. That's real because y'all have authentic. Like friendship too, I can feel that. Like whenever y'all put each other on, it's genuine. It's not on nothing else. So, I yeah. Got to that. Even when we work, it's not like it's usually never like like super planned. It's more so like you just be like, I'm at the studio, pull up, or yeah. like pull up and not even. <laughs> and how does it work for you? Like when you when you do write like songs for other artists, like Chloe and Hallie, and you also wrote songs for her, and you got a freaking Grammy already. Congratulations too, by the way. <laughs> I got all the juice. I know all the juice. So wait, okay. So how does it work? Like they just you write a song and then you're like, okay, I feel like this will be a vibe for this artist. Um, it goes like that sometimes, but most of the time, my placements usually happen like we in the studio together, and you know we just catching a vibe. Like with her, um. I met her when she was 18. Oh, yeah. 18 and I was 19. And um, her sister flew me to New York, and I was there for, like, a few days. And we ended up just making masks and just vibing like that. Um, but I feel like, yeah, most of the time it's super organic, and I try not to be, I don't know. <laughs> no, but you have, you have, you've done that. Yeah. Because I've been noticing you for a minute, and I'm just like, okay, I'm glad to say. Your name is pronounced, it's pronounced Ombre. Yeah. How did you come up with that? Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> my middle name is Amber. Okay. My friend in high school, when I was first starting to, like, tell people I do music, he was like a rapper. But um, 
I was like, yeah, I don't know what to call myself. And he was like, why don't you just switch the last two letters around? And I was like, oh, that's that's a vibe. I can't believe he thought of that. Do you still talk to him? Y'all still friends? We still friends. We don't talk like that, obviously. He's still in the – well, I think he moved to Atlanta. But, okay. Yeah. Dope, dope. Now, let's talk about the music and your latest EP that you released, Pulp. So, I already listened to it. I'm a big fan. FUBU is one of my favorites on there. And the first track – Hold on one second. It's an old school party going on over here. What is going on? Let me see. Oh, this is the other station. So you know at the radio station. I'm at the box over here. And then we got magic in the other station. So anyways, so um back to your music, pulp and the EP and stuff. So I know about um, you know, the whole EP and the journey of it, but can you talk about like how you chose the title? And I'm gonna let you tell it. <laughs> um, yeah, so Pulp came from me. First of all, I'm a huge Pulp Fiction fan, so the only time when I moved to LA, which was 2017, um, I was watching Pulp Fiction like every day, like for no reason. Just watching. that movie's so long too. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I loved it. I just love like the the aesthetic of it. I mean, obviously the story is cool too, but I love mm -hmm. it. And um, originally I was gonna call my project something else. And that like I don't know. What but was it gonna I, be called? <laughs> I wanna know. I wanna know. I was, I was expose myself like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But um yeah, so Pope the title came to me in a dream, but I also feel like it was like subconsciously like I was I, I was watching Pope Fiction a lot, so that too. But it came to me in a dream and the concept the story uh behind Pope came to me in a dream, which is uh, for uh, high, soon to be high school graduates, they um, go on a odyssey or journey to uh, find this garden that grows hallucinogenic oranges, and um, <laughs> yeah, that's basically you was that. having a trippy dream. <laughs> yes, I swear to God. Like, also, I think pulp to me is like the core like what's on the inside like you know what i'm saying like what we search for fulfillment and um yeah that's what that's how it came about and i could go on and talk all day about it but yeah and i also saw the clip you posted on ig with uh is it keith powers like a little pulp film are you gonna make are you still gonna do uh the film concept i don't know i really want to I you want should to. now because quarantine i will see i will see what's up like I wanted to, I wanted to be good though. <laughs> I, I originally I did write, the, um, I wrote a short film, I wrote um, a script, mm -hmm. but I, I'm one of those people like everything got to be right or I'm not just gonna do it at all. Type. Yeah, you already have somebody on the videos though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, and you got the script ready. You have the actors and actresses on point too. I was like, "Who's <laughs> gonna give us the Instagram clip and be like, I'm not doing that though no more.' You gotta do it. You should. I like how I like how you get on my head. I like that. That's See, good. I got you. Especially in this quarantine. Look, we over here in Texas, we didn't got re locked down today because we've been wilding. Damn. It's real bad over here. So, but I've been trying to use this time too, you know, to just get closer to ourselves and get into stuff, you know. Because it's just slower now. We ain't going out. We ain't turning up. It's it's less. There's less distractions. Mm -hmm. I feel like so it's been good for me. But also before I let you go though, what else can we expect from you? You writing, producing, anything else coming out soon? I saw your song that came out today with Destin too. <laughs> I I told you I got the juice. I got the pulp. Okay, I know what's going on. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So the song with Destin just came out. One of my best friends, uh, super talented artist. Um, uh, what have I been working on? Well, uh, I'm gonna have some. Damn, I don't know what I could say and what I can. You can say, say anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can say anything. We coolin. Ashley said we coolin. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I just want to say, okay, I'm gonna drop some new music really, really, really soon. Really soon. That's all you could tell us real soon, like like a like a song, like another single. Like you could go to sleep and open up, and the music gonna be there tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow, not tomorrow. No, that's tomorrow. Like. See, look, come on now. Okay, but you got the music coming. Coming soon. I'm sure you already have a bunch of stuff in the vault, though, right? Yeah. 
I feel like every artist always has so much stuff. Like when anybody's like, oh, what you working on? Like, oh, trust me, I got a lot of stuff I'm working on. Yeah, you all, I mean, I'm always working. It's just, you know, I'll be trying to quality control, you know? So. Yeah, definitely. Instead of putting out a bunch of stuff, like yeah. making sure. And also, before I let you go too, you signed with Rock Nation, right? Yes, ma'am. Amazing. So dope. Congratulations, man. What made you decide to go with Rock Nation? Um, I just like, I, I like they, I don't know, the curse, but I like that. You can curse! <laughs> <laughs> I like their energy, um, and they just, I felt like when I met with them, the, the, um, the conversations that we had, they believed in me, and I could tell it was like, really genuine and really actually wanted to you know bring my career to the next level and even now like i've been signed for like a year and some change now and yeah the energy the same like it's still like they're still going hard behind me and yeah that's why and they give you freedom they let you do you and all that stuff that's important yeah, yeah. so and also like it's a it's a black company oh my black man exactly and they do a lot of, uh, what's the word, philanthropic work, which mm -hmm. um, that's something that I'm, like, proud to align myself with. So, yeah. Have you got a chance to meet, meet Jay-Z yet? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you already did? I don't know. Who you gotta... It was so awkward. I'm listening. <laughs> it was so awkward. First of all, it was at a party. It was at, like, a Christmas or a holiday party, whatever. And <laughs> my A and R was introducing me to him and he was like, Yo, this new artist we got first of all the music loud, you know, it's dark. Like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um I'm like, hi <laughs> <laughs> Like it's just Jay Z. I'm like, What's up? And then he started talking in his ear and he like doing this. I'm like over there, I'm like I can't really hear what's going on, so in my head, I'm just like, okay, I'm not in a conversation no more. Mm -hmm. I just walked out. <laughs> <laughs> Man, both of them was looking at me like, what the fuck? <laughs> he was looking at you too, like, where you going? Nah, he was just a little confused. He was like, what? Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, and that was it? But it's okay, because round two is going to be much better than that. <laughs> it's good, though. He fucked me. He fucked me. That's live. That's live, man. I fuck with you, too, and I'm so glad to see your growth and you still going and everything. And you link with Rock Nation, so. Hmm? I fuck with you right back. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, too, for doing the interview. Everybody, make sure y'all go check out Ombre on everything, Spotify, everything, new song, and Pulp the EP. And, oh, wait, somebody did say the last thing on Twitter. Are you going to finish the song at the end of FUBU? Oh, oh, I'm going to release it, yeah. It's that. So that's what we're getting? That's my favorite song I ever wrote. That's Boo -boo. No, the song that's on the end of that song. And we don't even have it? <laughs> Come on now. What you mean? Okay, we're going to be patient and we're going to wait for the fire. But again, thank you for tapping in. Appreciate you. Look, they're like, no, they want it already. But next time, when you come to Houston, when all this stuff is over, we'll link up in real life. We'll do another interview. Oh, yeah, we got a link. For sure. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye.